The Foam Spider. Size 12 kink shank hook. Size 12 foam bodies. Make sure that you get matching hooks and bodies. Leg material. Comes in a long strip. Here's an example of the strip cut. And then you just pull off the individual legs. I like to press down the barb. Makes it easier to get the hook off the fish. Now this is a size 12 kink shank. You can see the kink at the very top of the shank there. And that kink allows the foam body to sit nicely on the hook shank. This is a size 12 foam body. What I have done is slit with an X-Acto knife or scalpel a nice slice right in the center of the belly of that. And what that allows is for that body to sit right on top of that hook. And with the point of the body, I want it covering the eye of the hook. Start without the foam body on there. Start wrapping it up. And I'm going to go back to the bend of the hook and then back to the very top of that kink. Just on a clove hitch to keep the thread from unspooling. And I'm right at the top of that kink. Take my scissors, trim off the excess. Now we're ready to tie in the foam body. The thread on the shank will also give the foam body some purchase so it won't slide around on you. Put it right back where we, where we had it the first time. Hold on to the body, do a couple of loops. Try to get the thread right on top of each other so it's nice and neat. Cinch it down. Place that foam body so it's right on top of that hook. Just like that. This foam spider is gonna have two pairs of legs. I take the first two, set them right on top, center them, do a loose wrap, tighten it down a little bit, do a second wrap. There you go. And that's the first two. Second pair, same way as the first. I go off to the side typically to keep them separated. Do one wrap, two wraps. Then I center everything up and I try to split the legs. And here's what it should look like. We're going to move the thread up to the front. I sweep back the legs and start winding the thread underneath the body up to the eye of the hook. Now it's time to secure that body. I'm going to capture that pointed nose with my thread pull it down and back. That exposes the eye. Do a couple of wraps, pull it down nice and tight, and here's what it should look like. Now I can see that eye, the eye of the hook. Take mine not to get your legs caught in your whip finish. For some of you, this will be done. I like short legs. Long legs work good too. But I like to pull all of the legs up and trim them about a finger width. Just like that. We'll see you next time.